ETA, estimated time of arrival, has become such a key part of our everyday lives, whether it is Zomato, Amazon, Blinkit or Uber. But how does the complex system behind ETA work? How is ETA even calculated? To explain exactly what goes on behind the scenes at Blinkit, I am placing an order right now. I am currently in HSR layout, Bangalore. Let me select some chips, cookies and juice and place the order. By the way, did you know that all the items shown in the app are part of the inventory at my nearest dark store? Blinkit has 62 such dark stores across Bangalore and each store manages around 6000 SKUs. Here it also shows the estimated delivery time before placing the order. I will explain how it's calculated in a moment. But for now, let's go ahead and place the order. Current ETA is 6 minutes. Once the order is placed, it is immediately shown to the pickers at Blinkit. Right now, as we speak, the picker is scanning the cells to collect the items I just ordered. For this order, there are three key people involved. The picker, the packer and the rider. The picker at this moment is selecting the items from the cells. It's a process they have trained for using muscle memory. Like how a medical shop owner knows exactly where items are. Right now, Blinkit's pickers are able to locate and pick items in less than 60 seconds. As we speak, the picker is prioritizing food items that are nearing their expiration date. A method known as first expired, first out or first in first out. This ensures that items are selected efficiently and perishable goods move quickly from the dark store to the customer. Now it's showing that the order is being packed. At this very moment, the picker has handed the items to the packer who is packing the order. Only once the packer has completed the process, the writer is notified to collect the package and begin the delivery. Look, the order is packed and a delivery partner is being assigned. This entire process has taken just 2 minutes. The order is out for delivery and the app is showing an ETA of 4 minutes. While we wait, let me tell you something interesting. Amazon, Zomato and Blinkit all rely on ETA systems, but their approaches are entirely different. Blinkit has the toughest challenge because everything from inventory to delivery partners must be managed in real time. Let's take a closer look at how Blinkit manages deliveries on a citywide scale. Blinkit divides each city into smaller areas called polygons. These polygons represent different regions of the city and the delivery time within each polygon should not be more than 8 to 10 minutes. If it exceeds that time, the polygon is split in two and an additional dark store is set up to maintain the ETA target. These dark stores can either be owned by Blinkit or set up as part of a franchise model. Their size ranges from 1500 to 4000 square feet, which is roughly equivalent to a 3 to 5 BHK apartment. For every 40 to 50 dark stores, there is a larger mother warehouse that supplies them, typically 10x bigger than the dark stores, with sizes around 20,000 to 1,75,000 square feet. Each dark store usually employs around 15 to 20 people, including store managers, pickers, and packers. Unlike Amazon's automated warehouses, Blinkit's dark stores are actually manually operated due to space constraints and the need to quickly process orders. For route optimization, Blinkit uses Google APIs to account for traffic and in some areas it also benefits from Zomato's weather forecasting stations. When a delivery is within 100 meters of the destination, the app often switches to arriving soon rather than showing a precise ETA. This gives them more leeway in case of some delay. While 2 minutes are left for the order delivery, let's take a look at the ETAs of Zomato and Amazon while we wait for the order. When you open the Zomato app, you will see an estimated delivery time, typically around 25 to 35 minutes. Zomato pre-calculates this based on the food preparation time for each item at the restaurant, along with the average transit time from your location to the restaurant. It then adds a buffer to show a rough ETA before you place the order. Once the order is placed, Zomato refines the ETA using Google Maps APIs to estimate traffic conditions and travel time. It combines this data with food preparation time and packaging time to show a more accurate delivery window. Zomato also tracks delivery partner locations in real time to ensure the closest rider is assigned as soon as the food is ready. Now let's talk about Amazon. Unlike Blinkit or Zomato, Amazon works on a much longer timeline, operating in days rather than hours. This gives Amazon more flexibility in shipping items from various locations across the country. Amazon has centralized warehouses in major cities and smaller ones throughout the country. The delivery date isn't tracked in real time. Instead, they guarantee delivery by a specific day. For tier 1 cities, it's often before 10 pm, while for tier 2 and tier 3 cities, it's often before 9 pm. For express deliveries, 
where items are delivered on the same day, Amazon prioritizes products already available in the nearest city warehouse. If an item is not available locally, it might be flown in. But this service is usually reserved for Amazon Prime members. Looks like the order has already arrived. Let me go collect it. What may seem like a simple 6 minute delivery is actually part of a highly complex process running behind the scenes at Blinkit. And with that, we have come to the end of this episode of Scale by AirTribe. Thank you for watching the video. If you found this interesting, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.